Welcome back, tech fans. I'm Casey Montoya. It's time for another DT Daily. Today, Mobile World Congress officially kicks off in Barcelona. Nokia unveils a 41 megapixel camera phone. Apple's iPad 3 allegedly ships from China. And WikiLeaks makes a comeback with 5 million emails from U.S. based intelligence firm Stratfor. Mobile World Congress 2012 officially kicked off today in Barcelona, Spain. Already, we've seen a number of impressive new devices, including the powerful HTC One series, the 5-inch LG Optimus VU, and the Samsung Galaxy Beam, which sports a projector capable of displaying a 50-inch screen in high definition. We're on the ground in Barcelona, so be sure to check back with Digital Trends all week for the latest from Mobile World Congress. The most novel handset to come out of Mobile World Congress so far, Nokia's 808 PureView, which features jaw-dropping 41 megapixel rear-facing camera. While most high-end smartphones pack 8 megapixel cameras, the Simeon-based PureView is on par with professional-level DSLR cameras in terms of resolution, and it has the highest resolution of any camera phone ever made. Strangely, the PureView's other specs, a single-core 1.3 gigahertz processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, and a mere 16 gigabytes of internal storage are decidedly unimpressive. But Nokia promises the super resolution lens will find its way into other handsets soon. The PureView 808 will go on sale in May for about 600 bucks. Best Buy has dropped the price of all iPad 2 models by 50 bucks, giving further credence to the rumor the iPad 3 is coming soon. In addition, reports over the weekend say Apple supplier Foxconn has begun shipping iPad 3 units to the U.S. The next generation tablets are expected to arrive sometime in the next two weeks. The iPad 3 is said to sport a high resolution retina display, an 8 megapixel rear camera, and a 4G LTE connectivity in some models. Many expect Apple to officially announce the iPad 3 on March 7th. Anti-secrecy group WikiLeaks has begun to release a cache of 5 million emails from private U.S. intelligence firm Stratfor. These emails were obtained by hacktivist collective Anonymous, which breached Stratfor's network in December of last year. Stratfor has characterized Anonymous as hack, as a deplorable, unfortunate, and illegal breach of privacy. The 200 emails released so far offer a rare glimpse into the secretive world of intelligence gathering, but they have not unveiled any evidence of illegal activity. Of course, with millions more emails waiting in the wings, this story is far from over. That's all for today, but make sure to check Digital Trends today and all week for the latest news from Mobile World Congress and much more.